Hi, we were debating whether or not to post this video because we didn't want to scare people off, but at the same time we thought this was an important enough topic to cover that we went ahead and posted it. You might have noticed in the last couple of months we haven't been uploading any videos, and the reason was that I've been recovering from an injury. No, it's not related to the channel. However, uh, about six weeks or so ago, I was helping my son clean out his garage, and we found a stash of fireworks. And we were thinking this might be kind of fun to use for the New Year Eve celebration. And so I went out in his backyard, it's pretty big, and I took a Roman candle. It's uh, similar to one of these, a little bit taller than this. And if you're unfamiliar with this type of firework, it's sort of like a repeating mortar. It shoots out little uh, charges, like thump, thump, thump. And in the sky, it'll burst into stars and flares and some bangs. And I've used these before and decided, well, let's just see what it looks like, how it's going to hold up for the, the celebration. Put it in the backyard, put some sandbags on either side of it to support it, lit the fuse, and got back. And waited, and the fuse went in. Nothing happened. So I waited a little bit longer, and then I decided to take a closer look. And like the famous last words of the hillbilly, hey, watch this. The thing detonated, and the next thing I knew, I was on the ground, I was bleeding, I couldn't see out of my right eye. My son comes running out of the house, I think he was as terrified as I was. And if I did not wear permanent uh, prescription glasses, I would have lost the eye. Nevertheless, whatever hit me, hit me so hard that it basically shattered my glasses. This is all that's left from the previous pair. And the frame of these glasses was driven into my nose, fractured my nose, and the lower edge of the glasses fractured the inferior margin of my orbit. I ended up with multiple lacerations on the cornea. I had an interocular hemorrhage, and I couldn't see. About 60 or 90 minutes later, I was down at uh, Brigham and Wil Women's Hospital down in Boston in the emergency room. They did a CT scan, that's how they discovered the fractures, and they called in an ophthalmologist who cleaned up the wound and did some pretty thorough examinations. Then there was a facial plastics guy on call who debrided the wound and did the initial closure. And I think he did a pretty good job. I'm probably going to end up with a permanent scar down here. But I've been given very good news, and that is, given a little more time, I should fully recover vision in both eyes to the kind of funky level that it's always been since I've been a teenager. I learned a lot, and I've gained some wisdom. And the point is, if you're not familiar with the kinds of videos we do on this channel, they're energetic. We deal with high-powered lasers, high-voltage radiation, jet engines, rocket engines, chemistry. And I'm always admonishing people to be careful. And if they don't have experience in the kind of technology that we're showing, find some local mentor that can carry them through to keep them safe. Or if they can't find that, then the old saying, don't do this at home. But the point is, safety is really a 24-7 philosophy. It is not just when the camera is rolling, not just when it's showtime. And I think it's very important to keep in mind that if you're going to be doing things that are risky, uh, using a new power tool or doing something with chemistry or, you know, even driving in kind of questionable circumstances, and you get that niggly little feeling in the back of your head saying, I wonder if this is a good idea. Keep in mind that this kind of an injury is not common, doesn't happen that often. But like with Russian roulette, given enough time, you're going to get bitten. So please, stay safe all the time, not just when you're doing things that we show you on this channel. And keep in mind that you really need all of these and both of these to enjoy the rest of your life. So I want to wish you a very good holiday season. Take care, stay safe, and we'll see you soon. Now where did I put that rocket fuel?